Welcome back to Rusty Nuts Media. If you're new here, welcome to Rusty Nuts Media. Today, we're working on Project Gooch. If you haven't noticed, we're gonna be putting some seats in him today. These are the factory SRT4 seats. They weigh over 50 pounds a piece. These are the Kirky 55 series racing seats that will be going in the car today. To be quite honest, I don't know how to do this. Um, as far as I know, they don't make aftermarket frame rails or sliders for the Dodge Caliber. So, what we're going to be doing is taking the frame rails off of the stock seats and trying to modify those with our brackets to the Kirky seats. Um, it's probably going to be a bit of a mess as we go along, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to get those seats mounted in today. Alright guys, here's the seat in the car. So what I did... I set the seat exactly where it's gonna bolt up at, where these frame rails are gonna bolt up at. I sat down in it, I put my steering wheel on, I made sure this is exactly where I want my seat. So from there, I took some scrap pieces of cardboard and I made this rough little template. And basically this sits flush against the floor, just like that, and it goes along the line of my seat. This is gonna tell me the height of my seat from the floor right here. So from this little rough piece, I made one good one. It's all one piece. And it just kind of sits in the seat just like this. And that's going to tell me exactly where my factory seat sits where I want it. So from there, I can kind of match up the aftermarket Kirky seat to this, this basic angle right here. That's where I want my seat. That's where I want the back of it. That's where I want the top of it right there. Now, with the seat out of the car and sitting on the floor, I can actually fold a little bit of that back and I've got a secondary line right here. It tells me on the floor, that's where it needs to be, right there. So I can go ahead and modify these outside of the car just like this and try to get that seat to match right there. Once the seat goes in the car, we can double check it by just unfolding that and double checking everything before we get it all bolted in permanently. size star bit to get it off so there's that
All right, guys, just to catch you up on where I'm at, I've been doing a lot of measurements, a lot of thinking, a lot of trying to figure out how to put it all together to get it at the height, at the position that I want it. And this is what I've come up with so far. So you can see I've got these, these are inch and a half steel tubes. For now, I've just got them self-tapped in there with some self-tappers just to hold it for now. Everything's getting welded together and painted and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm just trying to get the fitment right. So after this, and then I've also got some more inch and a half because I needed to raise it up at least another inch and a half. I've got the inch and a half steel tube bolted to the brackets and then the brackets bolted into the seat. When you set the seat on the, uh, the brackets that we made, the bracket to the bracket to the bracket to the bracket to the bracket, um, that's what it looks like. And basically this thing looks like a big booster seat. It makes me seem like I'm really small. I'm not. It's just the caliber seats are very tall, especially with all the, the bracketing up under them. But if I put my template on here, you can see, if I can get it straight, I've kind of beaten it up a little bit. That's the height that I wanted it at. That's the base of the seat right there. And then the gap that's underneath there, of course we've got the padding and the cushions and all that that are gonna go on it. So that's actually gonna end up right where we wanted it. So we can work with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick all this stuff together, weld it, paint it, see if I can get it in the car, and we'll also do the passenger side too. All right, so this is the driver's seat. It's all welded, painted, everything like that. It's together. The passenger seat has been welded together. It's currently drying. I've got the paint on the bottom. I gotta flip it over, paint the top. Then the seats are gonna go on them. I'm gonna stick everything in the car, test fit everything and then do basically one final check of everything. Make sure everything fits up really good. Make sure I've got enough headroom for me and the, the helmet and everything else that's going in the car. And once that's all in the car, I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, there they are mounted on the, the rails. Those are the factory rails modified to fit Kirky seats. Now we're about to go shove them in the car, make sure everything works, see if they fit, see how we sit in there, all that good stuff. All right, as you can see, the seats are installed. Um, everything adjusts fine. Everything fits fine. The template fits fine that we made at the very beginning. Everything looks great. The covers are on them. Everything's bolted in. They are rock solid. They don't move at all. You can still use the factory slider to move forward and backward depending on who's sitting where. Uh, and that gives us an idea of where the main hoop is gonna go for the roll cage also because it's gonna be, I think, slightly behind the pillar, come up and go over, and then the bar straight across the back. So, as far as right now, the interior is ready for a roll cage. And as I've said before, that's gonna be in mid-April. We've got an appointment made. I am exhausted and filthy. The garage is filthy. So I'm gonna put up all the tools, clean up, and take a nap. Um, thank you for watching Rusty Nuts Media. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.